this appetite. And by contributions to your PBS stations from viewers like you. Thank you. Until you get back, T-Bone. You will. I won't let anything happen to them. Really? You promise? I promise. You're the best, Clifford. I'll be back soon. Bye. See you later. You know, T-Bone's right. This is a great pile of leaves. All crunchy and stuff. Yeah. I can't wait to jump in and hear them crackling. Yeah, me too. Clifford, you're not thinking of jumping in those leaves right now, are you? Oh, it would be so great to hear them. Yeah, it would. And we could always make another pile. Yeah, we could. So we should go ahead and jump in. Yeah, we should. Wait a minute. Didn't you promise, T-Bone, you'd take care of this pile of leaf form, Clifford? Yeah, you're right. So I guess we better not jump in them. Oh, but I can't resist. Wait, oh. Daddy! Look oh, was fantastic. Huh? Hey, come back here. Stop! Come back! Whoa, whoa, what's going on? Those are T-Bone's leaves! Stop! Oh, 
Oh, no! Tebow's leaves are gone! Not all of them. <laughs> Oh, Cleo, why did I have to jump on the pile? Don't worry, Clifford. We can just make another pile. No, we can't. I promised T-Bone I'd take care of this pile. I promise. Well, yeah. But those leaves are all over the island by now. You can't get them back. I can try. What? I have to, Cleo. A promise is a promise. But Clifford... Come on, before they blow any farther away. <sighs> Sometimes it's hard being such a great friend. away. I can't just let it get away. Oh, Clifford, be careful! Got it! You did it!
find T-Bone. You can help me find Clifford. Clifford? 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 Clifford! Clifford! <clears throat> Clifford? Whoa! How does such a big red dog hide so well, Cleo? Clifford! It won't be hidden for long. Clifford! Clifford! Emily Elizabeth! Cleo? Thanks, Yeah, you're really gonna scare Mr. Carson today. Here he comes now. Watch this. Ah. 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 Hiya, Cleo. Good morning, t -Bow. Cleo, I have to give it to Mr. Carson. You're taking it to the mailman by yourself? Yeah. God, my human never let me do anything like that. I might lose it or something. What is this thing? What's what? <gasps> Cleo, what did you do? I opened it. But I'm supposed to bring it to Mr. Carson. You can, as soon as we figure out what it is. I think it's a flying gift. You shouldn't play with it, Cleo. Do you know what it is? I know. It's a pizza. <laughs> Definitely not a pizza. Come on, Cleo. Just put it back. Yeah, put it back. Whoa! Hey, wait. I think I know what it is. It's a magic ball. A what? <laughs> A magic ball. I've seen it on TV. Really? It sure doesn't look like it does in this picture. I know. It's supposed to blow itself up or... Ah! Wow. A magic ball. Very cool. Hey! I love this thing. Now that we know what it is, let's put it away. What? I said, now that we know what it is, let's put it away. Okay, Red. If you say so. I don't think it fits. Yes, there it does. Help me, T-Bone. Here, let me try. No, no. Clifford! Uh-oh. This 
can't be good. At least now it'll fit in the box. Never mind the box, Cleo. I gotta go show this to Emily Elizabeth. Want us to come with you, Clifford? Yeah. It was kind of all our fault that it broke. No, that's okay, guys. I'll tell her myself. Oh, come on. Give it to me. I can make the back. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you take your shot. Then I'll take mine. What am I going to tell Emily? Well, hello there, Clifford. Ah! Huh? So, did you tell Emily yet? Not yet. She's going to be so unhappy. I know. Sorry I made the open box. That's okay. Oh, Emily is going to be so unhappy. I know. Maybe you shouldn't tell her. Don't tell her. I have to. Okay. But she's going to be so unhappy. Cleo, stop saying that. Well, she is. I know. But what can I do? You could hide the ball and act like you brought it to Mr. Carson. But I didn't bring it. Emily doesn't know that. And telling her is just going to make her unhappy. You really think so? I know so. Hide the ball. Are you sure? Absolutely. Oh. Have I ever steered you wrong? Hey, Clifford. Thanks for taking the package. I can just picture the look on Cousin Laura's face when she opens it. deserves a great treat. Be right back. My stomach hurts. I told you she'd be happy. But she thinks I took the package. Exactly. Here you go, boy. Where's a big, juicy doggy doodle? For the best dog in the whole wide world. Oh. Ooh. It's so great having a best friend like you, Clifford. Go ahead and take it, Clifford. You deserve it. Ooh. Clifford, what's wrong? Are you getting sick? Look through your eyes. Ooh. Clifford, what's going on? Want to 
telling your special story, don't you? <laughs> I thought so. He's your favorite. Today's story is Speckle and the Old Wagon. One day when Speckle and his friends were playing, Speckle saw something behind a tree. They gathered sponges and buckets of soapy water and went to work. Now it was time to paint the wagon. Robbie wanted to paint it purple, but Luna wanted to be green. Reba's favorite color was blue. And Darnell liked bright red. Speckle wanted everyone to be happy. So together they painted it all the colors of the rainbow. Then off they went down the grassy hill in their wonderful rainbow wagon. The end. That was a great story. Isn't reading fun? <laughs> Nice and clean, Clifford. And I'll meet you at the dock this afternoon. <sighs> Clifford! What? Oh, hi, Cleo. Let's go! Let's move! Let's... Wait. What is that? Oh, what's what, Cleo? What, where? Don't you smell it, T-Bone? Something kind of sweet, kind of fruity, kind of like 
shampoo. Oh, you had a bath, Clifford? Come on, guys. Let's go down to the beach and play. Hmm. Clifford, let's go. To the beach. Here we go. What is wrong with you, Clifford? Let's go. Sorry, Cleo, but I have to stay well-groomed. Well-groomed? You know, all clean and shiny and sweet now. My human's always trying to make me like that, too. Can't you see I'm perfect the way I am? Emily Elizabeth just wants me to look extra special for when I get my picture taken. Whoa. Back up, Clifford. You lost it. You see, there's this contest for Dog of the Year, and all I have to do to win it for Emily is stay clean until this afternoon. But you can't just stay here all day doing nothing. It's a beach day. A ball day. A digging day, right, Dave? Right! Why, just this morning, T-Bone and I got a whip of a big bone buried in the sand down by the pier. Right, Dave? Right. A big one? It sure smells big. How big? Yeah. Dog a humongous, super enormous leopard sized bone! Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go! Find anything yet? No. Nope. I found a crab! Ouch! Come on, Clifford! We'll never find it without your help! Mm, I've got enough. Don't you like digging anymore, Clifford? Sure, but I have to stay... Well, groomed, we know. Oh, I'll just stay up here. It's fun. Really. <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh, find it? Not yet. We know it's there, Clifford. We just can't get to it. <laughs> it's the biggest smelling bone I've never seen. Ew. Huh? anymore either. Oh no, and I've got to go meet Emily at the dock. Clifford, wait! Wait! even bigger than my sport utility vehicle. Must be a new model. There goes a brave dog. Yeah. Let's wait for him at the other end. Here he comes. Huh? Well, so much for well-groomed. I look great. Emily Elizabeth will be so proud. But, uh... Clifford, you? I better get to the dock. Clifford, wait! You still have Daddy. Is she here? Lily LaValley. Lily's gonna love my dog. Hola, Emily Elizabeth. Hello, Victor. Hello, Pedro. You're here to meet Miss Lily LaValley, too, huh? Yes, I am, Pedro. But it sure is foggy out there. Thick as soup. Thick as cotton. This is a brick. I hope the bear can get in okay. Hello, oh, Emily Elizabeth. Where's the big red mess? Clifford will be here soon, Jetta. I don't know about any big red mess. Oh, oh. Clifford! Clifford, wait! <laughs> You're right. Not a 
mess. He's <laughs> a disaster. Clifford, what did you do? Maybe he's not the most well-groomed dog, but he's the best. There goes the lighthouse beacon. Oh, oh. Oh. The light cannot get through that fog. It is as thick as two bricks. Poor humans. They could be stranded out there forever. I'm sure glad I'm a dog. If the fog doesn't lift, the fairy will have to stay out all night long. I wish we could help. Clifford, where are you going? Oh, looks like Clifford's running away. Couldn't stand the thought of losing, I guess. Look at that. Looks like Clifford's going to help us out today.
funded in part by a Ready to Learn grant from the U.S. Department of Education through the Corporation for Public Broadcasting. Kids are always learning, always growing. That's why Kick Cereal supports PBS and Clifford for helping kids to feed their curious appetites. And by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thank you. Are you sure it's safe? Have I ever steered you wrong? Well, come to think of it... Uh, Never mind. Just go. Go on, T-Bone. It'll be fun. Okay. If you say so. <laughs> you were right. That was fun. See? There's nothing to be afraid of. vacation. Hiya, Casey. I'm T-Bone, and this is Cleo. We're on our way to meet Clifford. Who's Clifford? He's our friend. He's great. Would you like to meet him? Sure. I'll come out. He sounds nice. What do you guys 
guys going to do today? Huh? Well, we may go to the beach. Really? I've never been to the beach. What do you do there? Uh, oh well, we run around. But we don't have to. Run, that is. Oh, running's fun. What else? There you guys are. Wow. You're the biggest dog I've ever seen. Yep. I'm pretty big, all right. Who are you? My name's KC. Cleo and T-Bone invited me to play with you guys at the beach. Great. I've never been to a beach. Oh, you're going to love it. We run and jump around and chase stuff. Oh, great. I'll go get my ball. What a nice guy. He's only got three legs, Clifford. Oh, my gosh. What should we do, Clifford? He wants to play with us. So, let's play. I don't know. We just have to remember that Casey probably can't do most of the stuff we can do, so we have to look out for him. Yo, guys, let's go! We better hurry so we can help KC cross the street. I'm hurrying as fast as I can. I'll meet you guys at the corner. You can slow down if you want to. I don't really want to catch up. Why not? I don't know. But just, what if he's got a disease or something? And he wants to play tag. Huh? I think that could happen, Cleo. Do you? I don't know. But I think we better be careful. We have to wait for the cars to pass. I know. Thanks, Clifford. Looks clear now. Let's cross. sure the car stops. <laughs> you don't have to do that, Clifford. There are no cars. Well, this can be a hard street to cross. Do you have trouble crossing it? Well, no. Huh. How about you, T-Bone? Huh? M me? Well, to see what, what happened. What, what, um... Maybe if 
got three legs. <laughs> Here comes one, Cleo. <laughs> Cleo, you, you missed. I don't want to touch it, T-Bone. It could have leg losing germs. I really think you're wrong about this germ thing, Cleo. I mean, I caught the ball and I feel fine. Toss it here, Cleo! Um, you ever seen a lighthouse, Casey? Wow, that's, that's beautiful. I want to see it up close. How do we get up there? Gee, Casey, Rocky Point's kind of hard to climb. Oh, is it too hard for you? Well, no. Then <laughs> come on! Okay, he's been up here lots of times. Wow, that's the high one. Let me help. No, 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 Clifford. I can do it. T-bone? Whoa, whoa, whoa. <sighs> Casey, are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. But what were you trying to do, Clifford? I was just trying to help. Did I ask for help? Well, no, but then why did you? Because you only have three legs. I do? Oh my gosh, you're right, T-Bone. Where's the other one? Huh? huh? <laughs> oh, gotcha. Sorry, guys. I was just kidding. I must have just left it on the ferry. Huh? huh? <laughs> Got you again. <sighs> but I was wondering how long it would take before somebody mentioned my leg. <laughs> After all, you've been staring at it all day. Huh? I, I uh... I... Sorry. It's okay. It's okay. I'm used to it. I know it probably looks strange to you, but I'm still a dog. And I like to do the same thing any dog does. I know. You can catch a ball better than I can. Well, I can do most things the same as everyone else. And I really like doing things for myself. Sorry, Casey. I know that. Now. But I do need help sometimes. When I do, Clifford, you're definitely the guy I'm gonna ask. Deal? Deal. And you, Cleo? You've been avoiding me like I had a disease or something. You don't? Nah. The thing is, I'm just looking for some friends. Same as anyone else. And I'd really like to be friends with you guys. I'd like to be your friend too, Casey. Me too. Yeah. Me too. Hey, thanks, guys. Now... I'd really like to see what's at the top of that lighthouse. Hey, Clifford, can you give me a lift? Are the stairs too hard for you to climb? No. Nah. Why climb when I can take the elevator? <laughs> right. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs>
One day when Speckle and his friends were playing, Speckle saw something behind a tree. They gathered sponges and buckets of soapy water and went to work. Now it was time to paint the wagon. Robbie wanted to paint it purple, but Luna wanted to be green. Reva's favorite color was blue. And Darnell liked bright red. Speckle wanted everyone to be happy. So together they painted it all the colors of the rainbow. Then off they went down the grassy hill in their wonderful rainbow wagon. The end. That was a great story. Isn't reading fun? <laughs> Gonna bury it, Clifford? Sure am. Want to help? Okay. Yeah. Let's go. There you are. The best fish and chips on Birdwell Island. Hmm. Looks like we might get a storm this afternoon. Hey, Samuel, I asked for a fish sandwich, not a sand sandwich. What is going on here? Clifford! 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 Dig here, boy. You're getting sand in everyone's school. Oh. Go do it somewhere else. Hmm. Oh, oh. That dog sure likes to dig. Now this is a perfect place to bury your bones, Clifford. Yeah, and you don't even have to dig. The hole's already here. It's like it was meant to be. Yeah, it's a nice hole, but not deep enough. Here, take this. I'm going to make it deeper. Wow, he's good. Yeah, he's a natural. Okay. Now my bone ought to fit just right. Yeah, this tree is gonna look great. Seems a little short. Hmm. How did this hole get so deep? There's your answer. Clifford, did you do this? Well, That was not a good thing to do. <sighs> the hole we started here was for our tree, not for your bone. We wanted to get it in the ground before the rain starts. Clifford, if you must dig, go and do it someplace else. Please. <laughs> okay, okay. I know you're sorry. Now take your bone and go. Woof, woof. Today, class, a storm is on the way, and I want you all home safe and sound before it gets here. Last time we had a storm, the library was flooded from the waves. 
Do you think that storm is going to make the waves that high again, Miss Carrington? I suppose it's possible. Maybe it'll turn into a hurricane with lots of rain and really strong winds that blow things all around like... like... like that! Oh, my goodness! Nobody does it better! Nobody! Clifford! Emily Elizabeth! Clifford, what are you doing? You can't just dig a hole here! Sorry, but this is not a good place to dig. You interrupted our class. You better go home now, okay, boy? <laughs> go on, Clifford. You too, Cleo. You too, T-Bone. Sky's getting dark. Looks like it's gonna rain. Yeah, I should go home, Clifford. Mrs. Diller hates it when I get wet. I get frizzy, you know. Yeah. Me too. Not the frizzy part. I just to go home. Okay. Thanks for trying to help me bury my bones. Maybe I'll just bury it in my backyard. Great idea, Clifford. We'll see you tomorrow. This should do the trick, Violet. Our flowers will be well protected from the storm now. Of course, nothing can protect you from Clifford. Would you mind doing your digging somewhere else, please? Like on another island. Now, Horace. built in time, everything should be just fine. We'll have to dig up plenty of sand and dirt. We'll need it to make the wall high enough to protect it from the waves. That's an awful lot of digging. Yes, it is. I wish we had a few more diggers to help. Wait a minute. I know the best digger around. Clifford! I wonder where he is. Okay, Bo, I don't think my digging can bother anyone way out here, so let's start digging. Clifford to stop digging just this morning. Oh. I told him digging was not a good thing to do. I wouldn't let him dig at school this afternoon. And I told him to go away and dig on another island. Poor Clifford. No wonder he doesn't want to dig. Clifford? I know everyone's been telling you not to dig today. Oh. But we didn't mean for you to think that all digging is bad. In fact, digging is one of your best talents. You're very good at it. Oof. It's just that there's a right time and a right place for you to use your talent. And right now, if you dig here, 
You'll really be helping us. Go Clifford! library is safe. We never could have done it without the help of Clifford. He's a very cool dog. Hey, Clifford, did you ever find a place to bury your bones? Oh. Don't worry. I'll get you another bone. A really big one. I'll get you one too, amigo. Me too. You certainly deserve it, Clifford. I'll get him one, too. As long as he doesn't bury it in my backyard. Oh, of course. And I'll help you bury all those bones, Clifford. Somebody absolutely, positively perfect. Just like you. And I know that it's always important to be thoughtful of other people's feelings and ideas. That's why Clifford's big idea for today is respect. You know what would make it even better, though? A great big flag! No, I think it's great just the way it is. Yeah. Now it needs a big wall. No, it doesn't. Cleo, this is T-Bone's castle. Before you change it, you should find out if he wants you to. I'm sorry. Next time I'll remember to ask first. Sometimes our friends have thoughts and feelings that are different from ours. When we take the time to find out about those differences, it shows how much we care. That's why Clifford's big idea for today is respect. Jump on you and bark at you. They, they like to play with people. You have to sort of like train it to do what's right. This is my dog Yukon. He likes to play. This is my dog Butterscotch. His name is going to be Scott because he looks like Butterscotch named from Butterscotch. I snowshoe with him. Sometimes he pulls me on a sled. He's a good doggy. Eh? He protects me a lot. I like it because he never runs off. He always stays with me. I love you, you kind. Bye! Clifford says be the best red dog on your block. Visit your local library to discover all kinds of books, both big and small. Dig up more fun with Clifford and his friends at pbskids.org or America Online keyword PBS Kids. Now you can catch the tales of Clifford the Big Red Dog on TV. Here comes Clifford! So exactly how big is Clifford? Gigantic. I'm that. See for yourself. Catch Clifford the Big Red Dog. Let's go play. That's my Clifford.
It is funded in part by a ready to learn grant from the U.S. Department of Education through the Corporation for Public Broadcasting. Kids are always learning, always growing. That's why Kick Cereal supports PBS and Clifford for helping kids to feed their curious appetites. And by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thank you. When children are very young, they need a lot of limits. Many of the limits are for their health and safety, such as what is good to eat and what is not. Other limits help them be with other people, such as what they can say and do and wear. Still others may protect privacy and property. Although children may experience many different kinds of feelings, they often need limits on the expressions of those feelings. For example, children need to know that you are there to help them handle the angry feelings that can be hurtful to everyone. Children feel safer when they know what the rules are, when they've been told by people they love what to do. It can be very frightening for a child not to have limits. Call them rules or limits they should be practical, reasonable, consistent, and most of all, an expression of loving concern. The Ready to Learn service encourages you to give your children the gift of limits. This is WMVS Milwaukee. Between the Lions is funded in part by a ready-to-learn grant from the United States Department of Education through the Corporation for Public Broadcasting. That was great, Cleo. Major support is also provided by the Carnegie Corporation of New York. The Park Foundation, dedicated to education and quality television. Arthur Vining Davis Foundation. The Charles H. Redson Foundation. And the Institute for Civil Society. And the cow says... <coughs> Words just wouldn't be the same without O's. Cheerios, proud sponsor of Between the Lions, helping children learn to read. And by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thank you. Congratulations, Lionel. 
Thanks, Click. Oh, oh, Lionel, my boy. Will you be all right? Of course I will, Dad. It'll be a piece of cake. <laughs> Excellent. Well, I have an important, uh, important piece of uh, library business to attend to. <laughs> so if you need me, uh, I'll be at the front desk. Okay, Dad. Okay. So oh, I know he'll make me proud. by Demi. Shall we read it? Yeah, yeah. All right. A long time ago, in China, there was a boy named Ping who loved flowers. Ping! <laughs> Anything he planted burst into bloom. Up came flowers, bushes, and even big fruit trees. This fine magic. Mm. Everyone in the kingdom loved flowers, too. They planted them everywhere. And the air smelled like perfume. The emperor loved birds and animals. But flowers most of all. And he tended his own garden every day. But the emperor was very old. He needed to choose a successor to the throne. A successor to the throne? What's that? <laughs> a successor to the throne. A successor. Someone who takes over from someone else. Is next in line, see? Not the kind of line you stand in, of course, but in line for a job. Uh, is that clear? Um, uh, no, not exactly. Hmm. Oh, not exactly, eh? Okay. Oh, how about this? Uh, the person who will become emperor after this emperor uh, stops being emperor. Oh, I get it. Take tea. Uh, my pleasure, Leona. <laughs> <laughs> Who would his successor be? Because the emperor loved flowers so much, he decided to let the flowers choose. All the children in the land were to come to the palace. There they would be given special flowers by the emperor. Whoever can show me their best in a year's time, he said, will succeed me to the throne. This news created great excitement throughout the land. Children swarmed to the palace to get their flowers. When King received his seed from the emperor, he was the happiest child of all. He was sure he could grow the most beautiful flower. Ping filled a flower pot with rich soil. He planted the seed in it very carefully. He watered it every day. He couldn't wait to see it sprout, grow, and blossom into a beautiful flower. What kind of flower do you think is going to grow in Ping's pot, Marty? Hmm, I don't know, Leona. What do you think? Well, you know, it could be a, uh, well, it could be, um, oh, a, a uh, daffodil, <laughs> or a tulip, oh, yes. or a violet, or a hibiscus. And now, Walter and Clay Pigeon eat seeds.
now, the dancing feet of Mr. Bruno Kirby. What's it now? Hey! Doctor with Dr. Ruth Wertheimer. Hello. Here's Dr. Ruth. Oh, oh, something tells me it's time for another low word freak out. Pop-ups here the books anyway. I checked. They're all out. Oh. Monkey Pop-Up Theater, Volume 2038. Monkey Pop-Up Theater, Volume 2039. Monkey Pop-Up Theater, Volume 2040. Mm. Is that it? Yep. I just love Monkey Pop-Up Theater books. <laughs> I can tell. Thank you for turning your books in on time. Oh, thank you for doing such a good job. Next week to the 
coming in. Freebie, freebie. What's a freebie? I believe it is something that is free. Cool. Let's open it. Lionel, that may not be a good idea. Some emails can contain viruses that interfere with my central processing unit's operation. Oh, well, I'm sure it's okay. Request denied. Uh, Going in the oh, manual.
You're watching Channel 10, WMVS, Milwaukee Public Television, a viewer-supported service of MATC. Program was made possible by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thank you. You're getting to be a big boy. I'm just a kid who's four. Each day I grow some more. I like exploring. I'm tired. So many things to do. Each day is something new. I'll share them with you. I'm tired. My world is turning. Changing each day. With mommy and daddy, I'm finding my way. Growing up is not so tough. That's when I've had enough. But there's lots of fun stuff. I'm like it's going to be a beautiful day. <sighs> That's the thing to <laughs> uh, Well, might as well enjoy it. This <laughs> <laughs> is one of my best friends, my hero. I want to be just like him. Hmm. That's not easy. He's fast and can do lots of things. Like that. Rosie have been inside all day. Let's go out and get some fresh air. Can I bring my dinosaur? Why don't you bring your bucket and shovel instead? Then you can play in the sandbox. Okay. Caillou was happy to see that Leo and Clementine were at the park, too. Hi. Can I help build the sand castle? You. you break everything. Caillou didn't mean to break Clementine's bucket. He felt very badly. Mommy! <laughs> What's the matter, Caillou? Leo and Clementine don't want to play with me. Did you tell them you wanted to play with them? Caillou didn't tell his mommy that he had broken Clementine's bucket. He was sad and angry all at the same time. I don't want to play with them anymore. I don't like them. I want to go home. But we just got here, Caillou. Rosie's awake. Why don't you play for a little while longer, okay? Leo! Clementine! Come play on the slide with me! Leo and Clementine were so busy playing, they didn't even notice Caillou. Caillou didn't find it was as much fun sliding alone. He really wanted his friends to play with him. <laughs> Mommy, can you push me in the swing too? Aren't you a little big for the baby swings, Caillou? Can you push me on that big swing, Mommy? Caillou, I can't push you on the big swings right now. I'm pushing Rosie. It was no use. Caillou tried and tried. But normally, Mummy or his friends would push him to get started. But there was one thing that Caillou could do by himself. Climb the monkey bars. Go and play with Leo and Clementine, Caillou. They don't want me to play with them anymore because I broke Clementine's bucket. Well, why don't you lend her your bucket? Here, Clementine. You can have my bucket. Thanks. It's a nice bucket. A lot bigger than mine. Can I play with you? Sure. Get over there. You can help me. 
Strange news that Leo and Clementine were once again his best friends in the whole wide world. Got to keep these claws in good condition. Oh, oh yeah, it's only when they're not. <laughs> Rexy, you don't have claws. Uh, I mean, claws like mine. Oh, uh, uh, right. <sighs> oh, now that is going to be true. <laughs> Caillou's favorite things to do was play spaceman with his best friend, Leo. Come back, spaceman! Oh, no! He's gone! Caillou decided that Gilbert could help him find the spaceman. Leo didn't hear anything and checked to see if the coast was clear. that he had won, he didn't notice that Leo was hurt. I want my mommy. What's wrong, Leo? My foot hurts. Caillou didn't know what to do. He felt scared. go to the hospital. Don't worry, Leo. Everything will be all right. I want my mommy. <laughs> Is Leo okay, Mommy? We'll find out soon, Caillou. But first, he needs to have his foot checked at the hospital. Caillou had never been to the hospital. He was very curious about what would happen there. What will happen at the hospital? Well, the doctor will look at Leo's foot and find out what's wrong with it. He might take a special picture called an x-ray to look at Leo's bones. I have to call Leo's parents now. Will you please watch Rosie for me? Okay. Mommy? Yes, Caillou? Will Leo be okay? I'm sure he'll be okay, but he probably won't be running around much for a little while. Caillou hoped Leo would get better fast so they would be able to play Spaceman again soon. And he says Leo is already home from the hospital and is doing fine. Do you think he can come over and play now? I don't think so, Caillou. Leo has a broken toe, so he'll have to stay off his feet for a while. He will? What's the matter, Caillou? Caillou was disappointed that he wasn't going to be able to play with Leo. I want Leo to come over. I want to hear about the hospital and play spaceman. Well, Leo can't come over here, but you can go and visit him. I can? Sure. In fact, 
He asked Daddy if he could come over and see them later. I bet that would really cheer him up. Caillou couldn't wait to see Leo and had a great idea to cheer him up. I'm going to draw Leo the best picture ever. Caillou wanted to draw something for Leo. But what? A spaceman. Leo loves spaceman. also put the finishing touches on the cookies I'm making for Leo. Okay. <laughs> that one's for Leo. Leo can't wait to see you. on them and fell. You went to the hospital? Yeah, and the doctor took a funny picture of my toes. <laughs> you want to play speech, alien? How? than I thought. Oh, but there's no way I'm even cutting. <laughs> Caillou was feeling very sorry for himself. Whatever's the matter, Caillou? You don't look very happy. I've got nobody to play with. Don't you have any friends? No, I don't. At that moment, Caillou really thought he didn't have any friends. And that made him feel even more sad and lonely. I'm sure you must have some friends. Let's see if we can think of one. What about that nice girl, Clementine? Clementine loves candy. Can I? Nope. Okay. Want some? Oh, no! I'm putting the yellow ones in a row. Caillou, that candy was on the floor. It's not going in your mouth. Wait a minute. I have some more here. They're clean. Well, that's one friend. Do you have any other? Uh, I don't think so. Let's see now. What about that boy, Leo? <laughs> Leo's funny. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny, you two? Nothing, Mommy. <laughs> <laughs> well now, that's two friends. We have 
have any others? No. Really? What about Gilbert? Isn't he your friend? Yay! How you have forgotten about Gilbert? Of course Gilbert was his friend. Gilbert, you're my friend. Caillou was much happier now. He started out thinking he didn't have any friends. But now he knew he had three. And now that he knew he had three friends, Caillou began to think about whether he had any more. Rosie's my sister, Grandma. But she's my friend, too. That's right. Caillou? Hello, everybody. Hello, Mr. Hinkle. And Mr. Hinkle's my friend, too. I have lots of friends, don't I, Grandma? Yes, you do. <gasps> Look who's coming. It's Mommy and Daddy. Mommy, Daddy, you're my friend, and so's Rosie and Gilbert and Mr. Hinkle and Clementine and Leo. Are those all your friends? Yes. Aren't you forgetting someone? Oh, yes. And you're my friend, too, Grandma. Hi, Spidey with Yoka, and this is my sister, Sarah. Best friend. What do you like to do with your best friend? Oh, 
Well, this is Andre. His mummy and I have been friends since we were little. Now, you didn't think Andre was little at all. In fact, Andre seems very big. You're already a big boy, Andre. How old are you? I'm six. Now, why don't you play with Andre while we talk? Come on, let's build a castle. Do you have any games we could play? I know. Let's play catch. Not inside, catch. Uh, you broke my castle. No, I didn't. You knocked it over. You're not allowed to play ball in the house. Well, let's play something else then. Let's play hide and seek. Okay, I'll go hide. Okay, I'll count. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Here I come. Here I come. Caillou, where are you? Caillou, where are you? Caillou couldn't resist that barefoot. He had to tickle it. very angry with Andre. But when he saw the cut, he felt sorry for him. Is Andre hurt, Mommy? I'm sure he's going to be all right, honey. I didn't mean to break Caillou's chair. It was an accident. Why don't you two play soccer outside for a little while? But the soccer ball is stuck in the tree. I can reach it. Hey, watch this! <laughs> Something. Why are you copying me? Oh, well, uh, uh, Teddy's off with Caillou at Grandma's, and, well, you're one of my best friends, and I, well, I wanted to be like you, do things like you. Oh, Rexy, you don't have to do anything but be yourself to be my best friend. It's just that, uh, right now I'm creating a brilliant ode. I am, too. This is you. You've written an ode? Uh-huh. Like me? Uh-huh. Huh? Well, then, let's hear it. Right now? Why not? Okay. Uh, but, Gilbert? Yes? Uh, I 
think it's a little dinosaur trying really hard to be an old rider like you. Oh, and I would love to hear it. Okay. <laughs> it goes like this. <coughs> Ode to an old riding cat. Oh. You're a cat. That's that. You're not a bat or a rat. Just a cat that likes to do a lot of old riding. Do you like it? Uh, <laughs> if I might just make the tiniest suggestion. Oh, sure. Well, that last line should rhyme with bat and rat. Oh, then it should always be oh, cat. Uh, may I? Go ahead. <clears throat> You're a cat. That's that. You're not a bat or a rat. Just an ode writing cat. Wow. Well, <laughs> I've been doing it for quite a while. Oh, when I grow up, I'm going to be just like you. Oh, 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 my. oh Rexy. Huh? <laughs> if you're going to be just like me, we have to work on that hug. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, oh, my. Oh, oh. Come play with me again. <laughs> Come and play with me. Visit cbskids.org or America Online Keywords. Yes, kids. Grandma, we have loads of fun together. Like bird watching with real birds. Grandma's real good at arts and crafts. And we love playing music. I love staying over at Grandma's house. Can you find any of these things on your body? Here they come. Take a look. <laughs> Eyes. They can be all kinds of colors. Mine are black. A mouth. <laughs> Just perfect for saying hello. An elephant. <laughs> he looks friendly. Nose. I use mine to sniff out letters. The eyes, nose, and mouth are all parts of our body, not the elephant. Here we go again. Look for more great body parts. Toes, they wiggle and sometimes look really silly. Ooh, they hurt when you fall on them. Ow! And slap them. Hair, I don't have any, but you do. Toes, knees, hands, and hair are all parts of the body. Don't you love them? possible by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thank you. It's easy to make your own musical instruments by using everyday objects. All you need are some red pens and an assortment of rubber bands. Now, make sure the rubber bands vary in thickness and width. Place the rubber bands around the width of the metal bread pan so that they are parallel. Start with the thickest and widest and work your way down to the thinnest. Now when you pluck the rubber bands with the open side of the pan, the vibrations of the rubber bands make the sound. The thicker the rubber band, the deeper the sound. Introducing your child to differences in pitch using handmade instruments or toy instruments is one way to help your child be ready to learn about music. Learn even more by reading books about musical instruments. Thanks, Kathy. Don't worry, you just need to practice. But I don't have time. The talent 
so it's tonight. Then I've got just the thing. Jackie and I'll teach you how to play music on our scales. One tap on each scale. Ah, music to my ears. Zach, you gotta play big and loud. <laughs> I'm closed. Now, now beat it. Go on, Kathy. Ask her. It might be your only chance. Uh, uh, hi, ma'am. We came to ask. I mean, I was hoping. Oh, let me take a wild guess here. You're out looking for a talent? Yes. You and everybody else in this forest. What do you think? You can just march up here and get a talent? Don't I get something in return? Sure. What do you want? I want to laugh. Oh, I haven't laughed in 387 years. I can't believe that big puddle has ever laughed. I heard that. So, you make me laugh, I give you a talent. No laugh, no talent. What do you say? Okay. I'll try. <laughs> Stick your tongue out more and make a real funny noise like this. Here goes. <laughs> you yeah, did it, Cassie. You did it. That's it. That's the best you got. With a tuba toothpaste. Get it? Tuba? Tuba toothpaste? Get 
Forget about it. I said that joke 200 years ago. Come on. I don't know what else to do. Why don't you try my tail pointy trick? It is pretty funny when you do it, Ord. <laughs> ever cared before. How can you never, ever laugh? I'm sad. Everybody I meet just wants my help. I'll never come back and visit. <sighs> you know, play a little, talk a little. You're sad because you don't have any friends? Not a one. I could be your friend. You could? I, I mean, you'd come and play with me? I promise. Uh, you hear that? I have a friend. Oh, oh, honey, what's your name? Kathy. I have a friend named Kathy. <laughs> hey, she made the talent for a laugh. Oh, thanks for helping me laugh, Kathy. You made me happy. You're welcome, but I have to go now. We're having a talent show at my school, but I'll visit real soon. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Don't you want me to give you your talent, huh? Huh? No, thank you. I figured out something I'm good at all by myself. My talent is being a good helper. Look! My dragon badge! It's shining! Way to go, Kathy! You did it! And now I know what I'm going to do in the talent show. Help my friend! Here I go! Thank you, thank you. Gracias, Ord. You may sit down anytime now. So, Cassie, who's next in our talent show? Zach, Weezy, you're on. Are my scales sticking up? Here, I'll fix them. My tambourine, where is it? Right here. And don't forget your music. <sighs> Thanks for helping, Cassie. You're the best. <laughs> I wish, I wish to use this ride to go back home until next time. Everything worked out great, didn't it? Kathy found a talent, and you got your snack. Yup, I'm finally full up. I can't eat another bite. Emmy, Mud, Demo time! Great! I'm starving. To learn more about Dragon Tales, visit us at pbskids.org. And we wished on a dragon tail, and that's what started Dragon Tales. They climbed on the back of a dragon friend, now the adventures never end. Dragon Tales, Dragon Tales, it's almost time for Dragon Tales. Come along, take my hand, let's all go to Dragon Land. Kellogg's Crafted Flakes, where making fun and learning with friends is a big part of what makes life great. Dragon Tales is funded in part by a grant from the Corporation for Public Broadcasting through funds from the U.S. Department of Education.
local broadcast of this program is made possible in part by USA Baby Child Space, featuring nine accessorized rooms of bedroom furniture for big kids. Furniture that will last for years. At the corner of West Capitol Drive and Pilgrim Road in Brookfield. Hi, everybody. I'm so glad to see you on Barney and Friends will sing songs, play games, and make new friends. So come and play with us on Barney and Friends. I'll be looking for you. Weekday mornings at 8.30 on Channel 10. This is WMVS Milwaukee. The following program is being presented with descriptive video service on the second audio program. This local broadcast is brought to you by Schultz Savo Stores, Incorporated, home of Piggly Wiggly Supermarket, where parents and kids like to shop. And by Metro Parent Magazine, the magazine for active families. Funding for Arthur is provided by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and viewers like you. And by Baby Gap. And by Post Alphabet Series 26 Little Letters that make up a million words, that tell billions of stories. And it all starts with A, B, C. Post Alphabet is proud to bring you Arthur on PBS. And by Libby's Juicy Juice. Juicy Juice. 100% juice for 100% kids. Every day when you're walking down the street, everybody that you meet has an original point of view. And I say, what a wonderful kind of day. If you can learn to work and play and get along with each other. You got to listen to your heart, listen to the beat, listen to the rhythm, the rhythm of the beat. Open up your eyes, open up your ears, get together and make things better by working together. It's a simple message and it comes from the heart. Hope is easy, listen. 